Well, for decades, Tampa Bay was too murky, too polluted to support edible oysters, scallops, or clams. But that has changed. A new report shows the bay is healthy again. And that's created a comeback for clams and a big opportunity for a small company in the South Bay. Aaron Welsh and his deckmate, Zach Hunter, are farmers headed out to their field, a field that lies about six feet beneath the water's surface. There's eight acres, four of which we farm, um, running sort of from right where we are out towards the bridge. Hunter dives in to inspect the crop, growing in mesh bags until they reach at least an inch in thickness. Pulled to the surface, they're rinsed clean of mud and silt. Then they go back into the water for a few hours to purge any remaining sand. When uh, they go to market, the consumer gets a nice, sharp, tasty bite without a lot of grit. Each clam worth about a nickel in profit. This guy's really been growing. Aaron Welsh and his father of the same name are both PhDs, hence the company's name, Two Docks Shellfish. With a background in aquaculture, Aaron the son sees a need for cultivated seafood to supplement wild-caught fish. We think that with sustainable farming techniques, we can continue to feed a growing market, and, and we think, you know, there's a lot of room for, for growth. That growth is fueled in part by restaurants like Locale Wine Bar in St. Petersburg that seek out the best local suppliers they can. Chef Jeffrey Heilman was so excited about getting high-quality clams so close to home, he even went diving with Two Docks shellfish, sampling the raw product in the water. Today, he served them up with house-made sausage, garlic, olive oil, and seasoned tomato sauce. None of it outshining the main ingredient. Super consistent. You know, they're big and meaty. Uh, the salinity is great. You know, they're very well balanced. Welsh and Hutter will haul in about 15,000 clams on this day, but they expect the demand will grow fast. Do you think Tampa Bay clams will earn a reputation? Uh, if I have anything to say about it, if Zach and I have anything to say about it, for sure they will. Well, as it is, most clams currently come from the Northeast. And here's an interesting fact. Because clams are filter feeders, they actually make the surrounding water cleaner as they grow.